Okay, so next day I had the fish in the fridge overnight. So to get this prepared, I use um, that's just melted butter, uh, garlic, cloves, fresh garlic cut up, and um, clubhouse roasted garlic and peppers. This stuff's really good. So I just take. I pat it dry with just a paper towel because you want the everything to stick nicely to it. So you put your butter over top. And then before you start working on the rest of it, just sprinkle over top. You want to have um, tin foil on the bottom and then a grilling rack because you want to preserve the um, the skin, and if it's right directly touching the uh, tin foil, then the, the skin will stick to it, and you won't be able to eat it. So you fill that up like so. And then continue. Do each one your butter in. and then your garlic. Oops, I have to get that one out after. And then sprinkle. And then continue all the way through, set your oven for 375. Uh, I go about f maybe 35, 40 minutes, check to see if it's brown. If it's brown, flip them over and then continue for another 25, 35 minutes. But for this larger one, it's gonna take a little bit longer than the small one, so just pay attention to that. So there it is, all finished. Um, make sure you use lots of the, the roasted garlic uh, and pepper, um, lots of butter too, and stuff them. I like garlic, so I stuff mine full of garlic. And then when you pull it out uh, at the halfway mark, when you flip it, you want to make sure you don't flip this way because you're going to dump all your garlic out. So you want to grab it like this way and then flip the other way here so that the cavity doesn't. Uh, spill open and you lose all the good stuff on the inside How to tell when it's done you just take a fork and and once the the meat pulls apart Easily then you know it's cooked uh, And if it if it looks a little bit on the mushy side, it's not ready yet And you also want it to look nice and brown uh, the butter should help all the skin uh, caramelize and uh, turn nice and crispy Okay, that's at about the halfway mark. You can see how it's nicely brown and there's lots of butter on the inside. And it smells great. So I'm gonna flip these over. Uh, that was about half an hour and I reduced the temperature to 350 because I want this, uh, the big one at the bottom here to cook properly. Okay. And the wife is showing how to take the meat apart. Not doing the best job though. No, not doing a good job. And it's for me. For you. So to do it properly, you find the lateral line. Like so. And then you pull up. Can't really do with one hand. Oh, okay, now I got two hands. So you separate up from the corner. And then the bones, if you're lucky, they'll all stay attached here. And you'll end up with mostly meat. And up here you can see a couple separated. So those will be up in here. 
so you just have to be careful to find them. And then the same at the bottom. Once you get going, if you do it properly, the bones will stay attached down here, the rib bones. And if you're not lucky, they'll stay attached to the meat. And they come out. And once you've done that and you get this side done, you can you can detach the tail here. And then you can grab the bone and you can pull that all the way out on the other side. And that's mostly boneless with a few that stick where it ends up being a little bit on the dry side. You just pull those out with your fingers. And then there'll be a couple down here that didn't work out totally perfectly. Pull those out. And then you'll also want to take the fins out. And then the couple bones here. And then the dorsal fin back there, you can pull that out as well. And then when you're eating it, just have a peek that you pick out most of the bones. Mm, I did. And you're all set. And you serve with a side of rice. Put more of the roasted garlic and herb. And garden fresh beans. How's it going, buddy? Good. You're good? Yeah. And that's my wife's job. She did a great job. <laughs> But it was smaller and drier, you mean so great job? yeah. I mean, I mean, great job. <laughs> so you're gonna have to be a little bit careful with your bones. Plus, it's a smaller fish, so it dries out. And I had to cook the big one with the little one, so kind of balance both of the two. Anyway, all right, good, beep, beep. done, bye. <laughs>